Oh, hi. We're having a warehouse sale. We should probably get out there. So it's actually Wednesday night, but tomorrow morning, I still have some stuff to do. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do a lot of filming in the morning. So I figured I'd do the intro now. We're basically all set up. Um, I just need to like, you know, move the carts and stuff off the floor. If you want to see what's all out here, you'll have to watch the last video. Um, it's looking pretty good. I think this is gonna be a good sale. This isn't one where it's got so much merchandise and so much really good merchandise where I think I'm gonna make a hundred grand in this one. But I think it's gonna rebound from the last couple. Unless that NFL apparel just, just blows up. I've got like 20 grand invested in that. That's only some of it. I bought so much. My average cost on that's two bucks-ish per piece. They were all different prices and all different purchases. I didn't just go and spend 20 grand on it. I spent five and then I bought some more for seven and I bought some more for three and then lots of those. So since I'm going around shutting off lights, I can kind of show you how full this place is. Around here, we emptied a lot out of here. You can actually walk down the middle, but there's still just so much in here. Um, this is a pallet of those rice dispensers. We gotta figure something out with that. And this is summer stuff. Already have a representation of this stuff out. Over here, I'm guessing this is a lot of five and three dollar day stuff. This is summer stuff that'll probably go out throughout the sale, just different price points. Uh, all the $10 stuff was already pulled out of it. Um, oh, I wanted to special buy those. We've got some $10 stuff mixed in here. Basically the stuff on the floor up until about right there. Then the rest is fall. And we'll save that for fall. Um, over here, we've got... These are baskets, water bottles. Looks like planters. Um, more stuff up there. Well, that shelf is Christmas, so stuff, some stuff up here. Oh, I forgot about those clay planters. Um, is this more? No, that's wipes. We must have sold all of these, that first pallet in the last sale. I didn't think we did, but that would have been nice to be able to get down. Down this line, this is mostly fall and Halloween, nothing to be too concerned about. Uh, this room is filled with clothing. Uh, and then there's more out here. And then it's just madness. Pallets upon pallets of stuff. Tim was rushing to go through these last couple of pallets today. So it's a little wild. Um, I think this one, he said he thinks got wet because the clothes seemed a little gross. Um, those could go out for 10 or maybe we'll special buy them at 10. It's just stuff everywhere. It is absolute madness in here. I'm hoping we can clear most of this stuff out because I want to actually have a pallet auction where we're auctioning off pallets here. It would be online, but we need a lot of extra space for that. More stuff in here. This is an eBay cart. Stuff that we found on pallets for eBay, such as brand new graphing calculator. Um, just so much stuff. We are well loaded down this time. And it keeps going back, back here too. Uh, these white boxes are all the shop lights. I'm gonna try and get rid of those at five bucks each. I'm not making much, but I've already broken even on that load. These brown boxes are all wipes. We've got about 10,000 canisters of wipes. We're selling them, each case is 24. We're selling the case for um, 15 bucks, and I'm hoping to move through all of them here. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to be sold. We've got shop vacs here. We've got paper goods that got wet and they're still kind of wet. I think all this is just going to get thrown away, which is kind of a shame, but I mean, it's all wet. Some of it's a little moldy. I don't think there's any, I don't think they're usable at all. We got brand new over the range microwaves. That palette is all socks and underwear. This one's DVDs. This one I think is just stuff. Uh, kids bikes. 
coffee, mustard, jewelry. I don't know what's under the jewelry. Um, swimsuits, solar lights, rugs, that whole palette other than the boxes that were thrown on top is cereal, cleaning products. Uh, this is face masks, not like the COVID kind, but like the, I don't know, health and beauty type. Um, what is under here? Oh, that's a uh, facial scrub. That is vacuum sealers, like little as seen on TV ones, more of the masks, more facial scrub. That's Hidden Valley Ranch Special Sauce. Uh, we've got Mr. Clean Wipes here. We've got just so much stuff in here. So anyways, I came back here to shut off lights so I can go home and go to bed. We have so much merchandise for this sale. We need to clear some space here. And the general idea here, general idea, um, is anything that is left over after this sale, other than like seasonal stuff that we're out of season for, um, and then some seasonal stuff like the sidewalk chalk that we're going to finish selling next summer because I had so much of it. Other than certain things like that, everything that's left here after the sale, I'm going to sell by the pallet in a big pallet auction. Completely clear this place out. Clean sweep. And um, I'll be heading flying out to get more pallets for that too. So it's not just going to be what's here. Um, but then... We just start bringing in a lot of product again. Do it all over again. It's gonna be fun. Follow along. So it's 5.52 a.m. I'm putting these out, guiding people to the warehouse. This road is where that other liquidation store is on. Got one there, we got one over there. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but you can see it from a distance here. Right up there. And that's our building. We're gonna keep going though. Put a couple over here. The ground is so dry. I'm having a real hard time sticking them in. It was easier when the ground was frozen. So I got them all out, except for this one. The end actually broke trying to stick it into the ground. That's how tough it is. Finally, gonna crack this bad boy open. You know what this is? If you've been following for a while, you'll remember exactly what this is. Pull it out a little bit more. You remember now? That's right. It's a wacky, wavy, floating, inflatable arm tube man. He looks a lot shorter out here than inside the building. So that should attract some people, maybe. At least the people who are here will like it. We never used it because I never knew there was an outlet back here. We've got an electrical outlet right outside here. I always thought I'd have to run the cord inside the building and come on. No. There. I always thought I'd have to run inside the building and I figured it'd be a tripping hazard, but he's got a face on both sides. Every time I see him in my peripheral vision, it freaks me out. I feel like someone's peeking in the window. So I was just doing the live video and decent amount of comments. So I think my connection was decent. Um, I messed this up. I have to reprint this because there's not 24 in there. There's eight. I have, must have gone off of that one when I made it. So uh, as far as advertising, we're not advertising with that big crime reports page anymore because somebody else took it over and I don't want to be associated with them. It's only a matter of time before this controversy. This person has fallen off the deep end, not posting anything related to the actual you know, scanner, crime reports, and posting. Well, let's just say there's a page called Green Bay Crime Reports Dirty Deletes because of the crazy things this person posts and deletes. Um, I don't want to risk being associated with this, this page anymore, just in case something really bad gets posted on there. Um, marketplace, if you recall the last sale, I realized we're not getting a lot of interactions on marketplace. Normally it's a hundred posts, hundred messages a day. 
Where are you located? Is this still available? Are you still open? I haven't, last sale I didn't get many of those at all. And I posted this morning and yesterday on Marketplace and still not, I don't think I got a single message actually. Um, and very few comments. So I don't know what's going on with Marketplace if I'm being suppressed or if people just don't look at Marketplace anymore. So I gotta think of some creative ways to advertise. I've got the yard signs all over the place. I actually posted on Reddit in the local subreddit, but I don't know if that's gonna get deleted right away. Reddit doesn't like people advertising. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I need to find some creative ways to advertise these sales. I can't do like normal ads that people would do, like you know, sponsoring a softball team or something because we're not open all the time. So be interested in hearing your ideas on how to uh, promote the sales because I have a feeling we're gonna have an issue with low traffic until we figure this out. Hopefully that's not the case, but it's a hunch. We had a nice little rush of people when we first opened. One. Um, whoops. But. Five, six, seven. Seven. But I have a feeling once they're done shopping, we're gonna be pretty dead. On the plus side, I don't need to make as much as I used to with these sales because right now I've got a lot into it because of the um, NFL stuff. But with this auction, I'm getting products so much cheaper, I might spend 20 grand on a sale instead of 40. So that helps, assuming I'm just getting product from the auction. Um, I need to go get quarters. I forgot we didn't have quarters last time. So if I've got, say, 20 grand invested in product, 10 invested in payroll and whatnot. That's 30. So 50,000 makes me about the same that 70,000 made me before. So I guess it might not be so bad. It's still gonna feel bad, but maybe we can figure out a way to get more traffic in here. So Tim just went through these pallets and look at these. Now look at this. If we can find out what size they are, this could be a very valuable box. I just typed in pipe coupling straubs, so I don't know about any of this other stuff. This could have some serious value right here. And it looks like there are a bunch of different sizes too. The whole building smells like, um, what's a PG way I can describe this? It is a plant that is not legal in a lot of states, including this one, if you get what I'm saying. And somebody, I mean, it's common to smell that smell off of somebody. It's not common where somebody smells so strongly of it that half the building, like I went 30 feet behind, you know, away from the sales floor and could still smell it as if it was right in my face. Very, like, are they carrying like 10 pounds of it or something? I had to relist this or re remake the sign for this because we tried that bang. It's not energy drinks. It's like a caffeine free hydration thing. So that's it. I've never seen that before. It's selling really well. Hopefully they're not expecting it to be energy drinks despite our sign saying energy drinks. So it's lunchtime, a uh, little different than normal. I'm eating here. My other half was so sweet, she made me a whole bunch of sandwiches for the week. We've got ham and turkey, and they're really good. I had a couple yesterday. Um, nine, I think she made, plus she bought some like microwavable dinners for me. I'm set for this week. Look what I forgot to bring out this morning. I feel like the Wacky Wavy Flurry Inflatable Arm Tube Man had, it's better than this though. So I'm basically all reset for tomorrow. It was a pretty bad day. $6,711. Um, Monster is almost gone though. This may be gone tomorrow. This is slowly moving. This isn't gonna be gone tomorrow, but it's moving a lot faster than I had predicted. Um, remember I spent 25 on this pallet, 25 on this pallet, and I wanna say it was like four or 500 on this one. We sold one of these, we sold one of those. A handful of these, not much. These are going slowly. They did really well last summer. We may still have some for next year. These, I'm wondering if I'm priced too high. They don't really seem to be moving. Um, the wipes we sold, I don't know, a little under half a pallet. 
given how slow the traffic was, I guess I'm happy with that. I'm hoping we move a lot more of these throughout the sale. I'm gonna die with these bikes. People just don't seem to want them. Um, you know, a few other, some of the Ryobi stuff. I do have some more Ryobi stuff. I should test it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, the Arctic Chill, Arctic Air. I don't remember what they're called. These things. I'm a little surprised we still have three left. We had a pallet of these once and they were gone in like 20 minutes. Um, what else am I surprised by? These here didn't do as well as I had expected. But it looks like we moved a good chunk of them. Um, I've got a pallet of these and a pallet of these. And it looks like I barely sold any of either. Not thrilled about that. Hopefully they move faster on a lower dollar day. Um, what else? I think that's everything else of note. Um, we got... These, I'm surprised we didn't move more at 10. And then the individual ones, you know, we sold a handful of them, but they're just not really moving at 10. Or I'm sorry, at a dollar each. I've been eating a bunch of these, though. I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of these left over after the sale. If I remember right, I spent up a little bit on them, but not a crazy high amount. So we'll auction the pallet off, I guess, see how it does. Maybe uh, split it up into smaller lots or something. So that is kind of the plan after this sale is over. Cleaning crew just left. Um, I wanted to have them here yesterday before the sale and normally they come on weekends. So they came today instead. Um, anyways, normally they lock up, but since I'm here. Um, to avoid having the same items in multiple sales, I don't care if we have the same items in multiple sales if they're like six months or a year apart. But consecutive sales, I don't want to do that anymore. So basically, when I've got a pallet full of something, I'm just going to auction it off afterwards as a pallet. Uh, some exceptions, for instance, these, I've got, I don't even know how many pallets. It was 10,000 units, uh, retail units. We're selling them by the case. I, if I remember right, it was about 300 cases. <coughs> I don't think we're gonna sell them all in this sale. Maybe we do, but that's the type of consumable type item where eh, it might not be so bad to have it in the next sale too. We'll see how many we have left. And that's about 13 hours today. I was clocked out for a solid hour for my lunch break. We get paid for a half hour lunch, but we clock out for it. So if we're gone longer than 30 minutes, lunchbox. I keep forgetting my lunchbox. If we're gone longer than 30 minutes, then we only get paid for the 30 minutes. But John, you're the owner. You can do whatever you want. I know. I get paid like any other employee. The only difference is I'm also the one paying and the one cashing the check. All right, I'm going home. I got roped into going out to dinner with a couple other business owners in the area. And um, I don't really want to because they're meeting. One of the guys owns a store in the mall. So he said after mall close. So we're meeting at like 8.30. But the bar is walking distance from my house. I'm not going to drink. I have to be up early tomorrow morning. But I'll go and eat. Wish it were earlier. But I mean, <clears throat> it's quarter after 7 anyways. So I will be back tomorrow. All right, I'm back. I'm so tired. I have a sore throat, and I think it's from yelling so much last night. There was a band there, so it was very loud. Um, loaded some of this stuff up, post-its and whatnot. Uh, what else? I guess I could probably fit some more here. I'm about to do the video, though, so I don't have time to bring anything else out for now. Uh, what else? I think that's about all worth note. I feel like these straps are worth... Seven bucks. They probably could have gone out on ten dollar day. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we got saws, and I'm a little surprised. If these don't sell for seven, I'm gonna pull them, put them in the auction. Oh, I'm so tired. This I looked up on eBay, and it was selling for like thirty bucks, but it wasn't flying out the door. So we'll let that go one more day before we pull it for eBay. 
These are all going to get opened by customers. They're going to open it, they're going to dump it out, and then they're going to grab a different one to buy. I just know it. Wow, there are still a whole bunch of these left. I would have thought these were going to fly out the door yesterday. So I'm at the grocery store getting water. I'd say a couple miles away. And the radios were working. It was very staticky. But they asked me a question and I was able to answer. So it's kind of neat. So everyone always tells me that I need to fly Southwest. It's the cheapest. It's so great. And I don't get where they're buying their flights. Because let me show you this. This is Southwest.com. So here are the prices for Southwest. And they're all kind of in that same two to 400 range. And then we've got, hold on, back, Frontier 59, uh, 72, Spirit 85. Uh, even United is around that price. Delta, why would anyone fly Southwest? How do they stay in business? I guess the Southwest one is nonstop, but I have never found Southwest to be cheaper. They're always like the most expensive flight. It's weird how we perceive time. Yesterday, uh, I figured it was, I don't know, maybe you're getting to be around noon. I looked at the clock and it was like 3.30. We were almost done. Today, I'm thinking, okay, we're probably just about done for the day. So let's start bringing stuff out for tomorrow. It's not even, it's just afternoon, 12.21. So remember we had a mouse problem and we had a company coming through to uh, remedy to this. They were going to do two times a month for the first like two months and then uh, once a month thereafter. Well, they just stopped showing up. They, um, the two times a month, there was like a six week gap between when they showed up until I had to reach out and say, hey, are you guys gonna keep coming here? Oh, sorry, yeah, we'll get someone out there as soon as possible, someone comes out. And then they came out one or two more times and then we just haven't heard from them since. I just got a bill. They're still trying to bill me. I just found out, I guess I must have been on auto pay or something. I canceled my card, credit card because I'd lost it. And now they can't get their money anymore. They were billing me $100 a month. They weren't even coming here. And I also found out that by the tech, he said, yeah, they sold you some garbage because the traps that they put all around our building, he said, that's to stop mice from coming in the doors. We told them and we told this guy too, we don't have mice coming in the doors, they're coming in on trucks. He said, yeah, if they're coming in on trucks, there's no reason to have these. You, They shouldn't have sold them to you. Um, and this invoice says they're from Pennsylvania. So I'm guessing this is a chain. So if you ever need any exterminating done, Batsner is the one that you do not want to go with. Avoid them at all costs because they are terrible. At least this, I'm assuming they're franchises or something. The Green Bay one is terrible. So basically, we're just about out of rugs here. So somehow I need to get that down. That's the project I'm working on. I need to clear a whole bunch of space here so I can get the forklift in here for that. And I need to clear this out so I can get the new pallet there. So this side was just attached with one wood screw. This side, they went overkill on this one. So it was too stripped out, didn't have a larger bed, so I'm just gonna cut it, and this doesn't work. So hopefully this works. I don't actually have any saws here. These just happen to be on a pallet. Well, that's a bummer. Not only did the two tools on that pallet not work, but also, I don't really have any tools for this. So I'm just gonna break it. Oh my goodness, there's a real diamond back here. Look at this. I'm rich. Let's just put it somewhere safe so I don't lose it. I'll remember where that is. And since Tim does not know how to properly stack a pallet, I need to do something about this before I move this one. All right, so I got some space cleared out. I can probably get the forklift in here. I'm gonna take this down and put it there. Then I'll put this wrapping paper pallet up there. I'm gonna put these lights up there. And then I'm gonna move this out of the way, the rugs. These heaters, I'll put there. 
and that probably dollar day stuff i'll just throw on top of the rugs basically i'm turning three pallet spaces on the floor here into one and create a little bit more room these if you remember i don't know if i mentioned in the other one these were a bad buy i was informed by some other bidders after i had bought them that these were from the 90s and uh, a couple of guys got screwed on these before buying them. Batteries inside are all corroded. I paid 150 bucks for it. I'm just going to sell this as a pallet when we do the pallet sale. But I'll be up front. It's from the 90s. Very old. Batteries, maybe junk. But that basically means we got to get it out of the way right now.
Would you believe I haven't had any forklift training? There's some tight squeezes in there. I did hear one loud pop though. Is this what I ran over? Maybe, I don't think so. It was right over here somewhere. I don't see anything else. Maybe there was like a plug in there. And... Or maybe it was like a bag or something. I don't see anything damaged. Um, and then I pushed up against this and that a little bit. I don't think this, I don't even know what this is for. I don't think it's for this. Maybe this is what I ran over. I don't know. But we got that up there, those two up there and this down here and then stack these up. This one, I got this one really cheap. I don't even know what all this stuff is here. Bubble fly. Ooh, that looks fun. I figured this is all going to be Dollar Day stuff. Ooh, maybe that can go out now. Um, and the boxes are already cut open. They're only one layer here. Yeah. So, no, this is two layers. It's two layers in here. So literally all we have to do is take this and throw it out on the shelf. Or on the tables. Just like this. I don't remember what I paid for it. Maybe a hundred bucks. If that... I don't think I would have paid 100 for that. Maybe 50 I don't know. It wasn't much. I do have one more pallet space up there, but it wouldn't really be easy to get into. And if you, I don't know if it showed up on the video. That was just a little too tall, and it laid itself over. This Louis Capicoli guy on the radio, whatever his name is, has to be the worst musician I have ever heard. I can't stand this type of music. I like Top 40. I like pop music when it's a guy just crying into the microphone. I could do without that. And it's so overplayed. So just leaving, it was like 5,500, pretty pitiful. But I noticed two of my signs were gone. Um, not anywhere near the other store. As a matter of fact, I might run over there and check the other signs. Um, back here, two of them were just gone. Those things cost me like 10 bucks each. That's a bummer. So this one is still here. It's weird the two that were taken because one of them is what I call a middle sign. Um, whoever, you know, when I saw it was gone, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go grab the other sign because then people aren't gonna know where to go because they're not gonna know to make a left at that street. Well, that one was also gone and they're on two different properties. So I wonder what's going on. This one is still here. It's kind of on our property. Uh, this side of the railroad tracks is actually owned by a different company. I don't know why they own it. It's these guys that own that little triangle. So we should have two up here. I see the one there. And this one is still here. That one I'm worried about because semis tend to hop the curb. I've had my sign there run over before. I put it a little further in, so hopefully it stops that. All right, here's the road to my competition street and my sign is still there, right there. And that road loops around and comes back out right here. And I see my sign still here as well. That's nine signs. There should be another one somewhere. I'm not sure where. This is their building. It's kind of small, but they are on a cruise right now. They don't, they'll be back open tomorrow. So people come here and they go around and leave. Oh, look at that. These were just already made signs uh, that I bought on Amazon. I think I'm going to have some custom done. And what I was thinking is printing, it closes having large stickers printed and just stick them right to these signs. That way it saves me some money because I don't think I'll use these again. But then they'll actually have an arrow and the hours and the address and everything. I made the mistake of going to sleep at 1.30 last night, this morning. I am so tired. I got into bed at like seven, eight o'clock. And then I got stuck watching YouTube all night. Don't know what I was thinking. I can go right to sleep right now. It's 
Saturday morning, maybe eight people came in. Yikes. The lights are moving fast today. First 28 minutes, we sold like two cases of them. So, uh, not quite two. A full case and then whatever we had out there. So, maybe those will get an uptick today. We just sold this rafting tube. $39.99, I paid, I think, seven bucks at Goodwill for it. So remember all those walkers that we could not sell? Apparently the trick is take them out of the box. These drive nitros, we just sold the third one. It's been two and a half days. Um, and we just had them loose, there were no boxes. So I'm gonna take these out of the box and put them out, just one at a time. We've got, now these are just brown box. We never tried that particular one in the sale, but oh boy, I don't know if you'll be able to see these. Those are retail packaged, and those we just could not move in the sale. Maybe one per sale. And they're pretty comp comparable. They're about the same thing. It's not like we had a uh, drive Winnie in a blue box. That one was different. And we also struggled to sell that until we just blew them out at like 20 or 25 bucks each. So we got three left here. Uh, they're still on eBay. If we sell all these here, I'll have to pull it from eBay. So I got this pallet. Oh, patio tables here, and there are 15 of them. Uh, we tried to put them in a sale for like a day once, I think last fall. I paid 200 bucks for maybe 250 for the pallet. I just sold them for 30 bucks a table to a dealer that I know. They, I just don't think they're gonna do so well here. Uh, we had them priced at 50, retail's 100. I'll happily take 30 bucks each, that's 450 bucks. I paid either 200 or 250, and there was also like a, a patio, a couple of patio chairs or something that came with it that we need to assemble. Love quick dumping stuff. If I can possibly triple my money, I really don't remember. It was almost a year ago I bought it. It was last fall. I either paid 200 or 250, that I know for sure. If I paid 200, no, that's not triple. Um, double my money or almost double my money. That doesn't seem right. 30 bucks, hold on. 30 bucks times 15 is, yeah, 450 bucks. So double or potentially almost double my money. What am, oh, I remember what I'm doing. So it's 12.37 p.m., just past the halfway point of the day. We're at $5,764. It's more than we did yesterday, and it's getting close to what we did on $10 a day. Today is so much better. So the first day we sold like two cases of lights and I was a little bummed out because if we continue that every day we only sell two pallets I've got eight then yesterday we sold even less really bummed out. today we've sold two more lights and we'll have sold four cases worth today they're moving hopefully they keep going like that we do four cases a day that's half a pallet um, eight pallets it's still 16 days uh, so we're not gonna sell them all but we'll at least move through a good amount so I'm putting these out by the case. There's six to a case, five bucks a case. I paid 175 bucks for the pallet and there's gotta be like two or 300 cases on there. So I'm kind of going through this pallet a little bit. It's, I don't remember what I paid for it. It's all like industrial stuff. I could not find these like plugs. Couldn't find them anywhere. We got caulk guns. Uh, these, couldn't find them online and they're not doing so well in, oops, in the sale with their cases of hose clamps. Uh, but this box, and that one's all full of zip ties. This, not this, this box had the straps on. I opened and I looked this up. It's a needle something or other. If I can get it out. Pneumatic needle scale or whatever that means. Only two have sold. One used, one new. The used one, they took an offer so I couldn't see what it sold for. Uh, but their original price was $199. The new one sold for $450. Bucks. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, there's another one there that Tim found in a different box. So six of them. Wow, that's going to be a couple thousand dollars right there. And I would guess I probably paid 100 to 150 bucks for this pallet, somewhere in that range. So we're pulling the NFL clothes and putting regular clothes out. It's just not doing well. It did $120 so far today, and we're almost done with the day. I think regular clothes will do a lot better. 
We'll just run it all through eBay. The last hour of the day was pretty bad. We did 180 bucks in the last hour. Total of 76.85. For how busy it was, I feel like it should have been more. It was not a great day, but it wasn't as bad as the last two. Um, doing that on a lower price point. The lights though, those did so well today. I hope every day we sell as many lights as we did today. So, oh, it's starting to rain. Um, that store around the corner opened today. So let's see if my signs are still there. She never reached out to me. And we're not friends or anything, but I feel like, and a couple other people, business owners in the area, this one's still here, uh, that are in a similar business said she probably should have reached out to me before buying the place right around the corner from me. Just as a courtesy, um, I feel like she would have reached out to me about the signs and both of them are still here. Can you see that in the background? Uh, uh, there it is. Uh, you can't see. There's nobody there right now. They're closed. They have weird hours and they don't really post them on Facebook, on their page. It's just kind of when they feel like it. I'm a little surprised they're not there now. All right, so look, I know it's raining, but this car isn't gonna wash itself. You gotta be wondering who this guy is. Better make sure to properly dry the car before I go out in the pouring rain. Look at this. These dryers didn't dry anything. What kind of Mickey Mouse car wash is this? It looks soaking wet. It is Friday. What am I thinking? It is Sunday and we're all set up. All the NFL clothes were replaced with regular clothes. We got one little box over there with the last little bit of Packers stuff. It's just some baby shirts. They're like 12 bucks retail, so I'll, let, I'll leave those here. These right here. If I can get, there you go. And the retail price is exactly 12 bucks. And I guess some other things that just got mixed in. Um, filled this with shoes. We put movies out on one of these tables. Thought it was, there we go. Bunch of movies, some bed sheets. We're basically ready to go for today. I'm gonna bring carts and signs out now. So the tents just aren't moving and I'm not putting them in another sale. Whatever's left after this sale is going to auction. So I'm gonna drop the price on them today. Um, I also listed them on eBay, but they're like four solds on eBay and we've got maybe 30 units. Some more Rolo issues. It's not printing. Um, so I unplugged it for 10 seconds and plugged it in and sparks shot out of that when I plugged it in. I mentioned on the Reseller Epic Facebook page the other day, I said the worst business de decision I ever made was buying a Rolo. And it's amazing how many people came in and defended Rolo. Do I just have a really crappy one or something? Right after I said it was really crappy, it printed them. Uh, but the spark shooting out of there is a little worrisome. This is the story of the last couple of sales, down significantly from the previous year. So we've got some more special buy stuff coming out. we got these hopper guns, juicer, ice maker, and an aquarium. So someone stole a dog bed. People don't realize that just because we let, let it go through the register and they pay a little bit for something, it's still stealing if you switch tags, or in this case, remove the tag. So now I'm putting a label directly on the other one we have. So we just finished Sunday. Um, I didn't even look at what the sales numbers were. It's probably pretty bad. I'm gonna go and pull all of the signs, the red signs that we have out. It's because we're gonna be closed for the next two days. I don't wanna confuse people. Um, Last two customers were in a debate trying to figure out if it was a couple of former Packer players. They were older, not super old. I guess they were probably in their 40s or 50s. Uh, they were in very good shape and bigger guys and wearing Packer clothes. One was wearing a Favre jersey. So, I don't know. One of them bought 70 of the LED shop lights. This was, he was here the other day and he bought them. He stopped back in and got a couple of things. I don't know. 
I'm gonna get these signs and I'm going home. So they're all still there, except for the two that I realized the other day were gone. But does this building look familiar? This used to be my second warehouse when I had two warehouses. Now it's some sort of electrical supply company. So it is Monday. So many things happening right now. Um, a liquidation company called me. Um, there, I worked with them on Bed Bath and Beyond and Motherhood Maternity, and they want me to take over a couple of furniture stores. But they're in New Jersey, Arkansas, and Austin, Texas, and they're called not as potential spam. All right, so I accidentally canceled the video when ignoring that call. So New Jersey, Arkansas, and Austin, Texas. So furniture eh but if i can get it at the right price and freight it here that might be something that i'm interested in also my next trip to the auction is going to be in a couple of weeks um i'm doing something wild here instead of flying to atlanta and back i'm flying to dallas renting a car and driving to atlanta it's about a 13 hour drive but I'm gonna use that opportunity to meet up with some people who I haven't seen in a long time. So I'll take you along on those videos. Most of them are gonna be on the other channel because it's not really gonna be anything resale related. Uh, but of course the auction will be on this channel. I'm excited for this, couple of people I haven't seen in a long time. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. All right, I need to get reset here. I only have a couple hours today because Spectrum has to come to my house to fix something. Um, so I'm just going to try and start resetting tables. So it looks like we sold most of these at $5 a day. Um, I just want them gone. Oh, my phone is going off again. It never stops. Um, I think I'm just going to let these go at 3 bucks each. Just get rid of the last of them. This is it for the chalk. Um, again, I'm going to let it go at 3 bucks each, but I'm not going to restock it. And uh, this I'm going to pull, I think. I don't know. Maybe we should leave this out for $3 a day. I think I might leave it out for $3 a day and then pull it. We still have three rakes. I can't believe these are still here. Uh, some of this Packer stuff. I think I might pull this because I feel like come Christmas time, it's only a couple of shirts, but I think it'll do better. Four units and then a couple is that got mixed in. Shoes I'll clean up a little bit. Look at how messy this gets. Clothes, I could probably condense this and bring some more in. And then just straighten up the tables. That's what I do when I first get here, is just straighten up the tables. I'll bring stuff out later. For now, just make as much space as I can. Got another shipment of Packers stuff dropped off today. Uh, 850 bucks. Let's take a look and see what we got. This box, gloves, scarves, looks like some shirts. It should be 100 units of regular stuff, 100 hats, and 100 ladies and 75 ladies shirts, something like that. This box has a bunch of hats, shirts, winter hats. So we're all set up. I blew one of these up. I have the lights turned off, but it's flashing lights. Hopefully that moves some of these. I brought these out. We're doing 20 bucks a case. Uh, there are 350 units in each case. Remember, I spent 25 bucks on one of these pallets and 50 on the other one. Uh, so I moved the monster over. That's about it for special buy. We filled up the tables, a lot of like this type of stuff. I think that'll do well. There's another one, safety glasses. I think that's about it over here. We filled all this up. I put a bunch of cereal over here. Oh, and glad bags and breakfast cereal. I think that'll do well. Cookies, we'll see. I could really go for a bowl of cereal right now. I took these out of the pallet because I figured they're gonna sell pretty fast and I didn't wanna have to move that big Gaylord out with all the customers here. We put these clay planters here. Turns out we did have a pallet down on the floor. Uh, so those are gonna be three bucks each. And then just kind of finished filling out the tables. So we're ready to go for tomorrow. Well, I guess I should end this video. Uh, that is the first half of the sale. Hoping the second half picks up quite a bit. We've got a lot of inventory to move, so hopefully we can move a lot of it. All of it. Most of it. Preferably all of it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out part three where we finish out the sale.